Okay, today it's 8.30. I'm here at Zuckerberg Corp. And I'm here to see Captain Ramirez regarding, you know, security and what's been happening here with me. Um, this is the memo of understanding between the San Francisco Department of Public Health and the San Francisco Sheriff's Department for Security Services. So, I just want to read some of the things to you because these are going to be questions I'm going to be asking them. Naturally, I'm not going to expect any answers or correct answers. That's if, and mind you, I'll say it again, if, let me say it for a third time, if this meeting does go through and isn't canceled. You must understand that this is not about humanity. This is about liability for them. Whereas the DPH sites have a need for security, public safety, and law enforcement services. Uh, what does the term law enforcement services or public safety mean? Was my safety protected by these individuals when I was assaulted, seeking emergency care with a doctor's note? Um, was my property uh, safeguarded? Was uh, the, my videotapes not destroyed? Um, were the perpetrators who did all this uh, taken into custody there and then by the sheriff? Uh, if he's law enforcement? These are just interesting questions that will be asked. Uh, okay, let's skip down. MOU oversight the role of the director of health and the sheriff. So this basically says that the sheriff and the director of public health. Now, who is the director of public health? Would that by any chance happen to be Barbara Garcia, who for years I've been trying to, you know, show the rig methodology along with the sheriff and everyone else. The videos are here on YouTube. Live, learn, despair. Live, learn, despair. Let's move on. Number four. The director of health and the sheriff will advise one another of issues that arise related to the services provided pursuant to this MOU that result in the contact from the media or could reasonably result in inquiries from the media and will consult with one another prior to making statements to the media regarding such matters. Neither party shall restrict the right of the other within the constraints of the law from contact with the media. So, uh, I guess YouTube is in the media. I've had videos for years uh, can't wait to ask about that paperwork. Moving on. E. Uh, okay, uh, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department Management Team shall, under E, immediately notify the Director of Security Services, which is Basil Price, I believe, of any incident that must be reported to the California Department of Public Health, DPH. Uh, would that be licensing and certification? Would that be uh, the Impala violation on 411? Um, they must immediately... And, okay, so I'm, I'm going to ask for that paperwork. Uh, that put patients, visitors, or staff at risk of imminent danger. Well, let's see, I was assaulted. Mm, I guess that's not imminent danger. Uh, I was in emergent condition with a doctor's note being denied emergency services, but I guess that's not eminent danger. Uh, or, number three, has the reasonable likelihood of resulting in inquiries from the media. Hmm. I guess YouTube is in the media. Such notification shall be provided no less than 24 hours from the time the commanding officer becomes aware of the incident. And, so, you know, you must think about all the times I've been in, all the times I've been denied my medical records, all the times the sheriff's officers have walked me out, all the times I've been told I couldn't videotape illegally. Oh! Okay, I'll calm down. Let's continue. All the videos are here on YouTube for you guys to see. Yes, rigged is as rigged does, and... What's the next one? Number five, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department shall provide adequate supervision and training to ensure that it meets DPH's identified needs and accountability of its personnel to maintain the public trust 
I can, you know, I just can't read this propaganda and not get affected. And security of DPH sites. This includes, but not limited to, overseeing security and law enforcement operations. Ooh, what a farce. Uh, H, uh, conducting training that diffuses aggressive behavior and, uh, let's see, aggressive behavior. Would that be like uh, Mr. Williams ignoring everything I say and, and uh, the same thing with Jay and, you know, it's our way or the highway, Hobbesian's one choice. You know, you do what we say or we'll screw you. Hmm. Uh, when I came in yesterday and asked for security, did that security officer stand between me and that other, other individual to defuse the situation? Hmm. Or was he simply the lackey that when the, when the other guy, you know, twirled his finger, he, he, he performed? The video is here. Just look at it. Okay. Ensure that all SF, SD staff assigned to DPH are adequately trained in security and law enforcement matters. Hmm. Is that like uh, federal medical law or HIPAA law? Well, you know, you'll find that it's all in here, but I guess it's just called selective enforcement. Okay. And to the needs and regulatory requirements of the DPH site to which they are assigned. Number six, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department Management Team, as directed by the commanding officer, shall manage San Francisco S Sheriff's Department security, public safety, and law enforcement operations at the site. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's right. And the site under DPH control in a manner consistent with the activities of a healthcare environment. Listen to my stomach, folks. I'm dying. A healthcare environment including but not limited to DPH security management plan. Uh, standards established by the Joint Commission on Accrediting Health Organizations, Title 22 of the California Code of Regulations and the Conditions Participation for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Uh, this looks like a law here. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what uh, Jayco does or has done in the past. That's another file that I have that we can talk about. Just so much. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, basically, it just goes on to say that, uh, you know, they're located at San Francisco General Laguna Honda. Okay, the, uh, what the director, uh, DPH director of security, what his role is. Uh, as far as that is to make sure that that the staff are trained to follow policies and procedures and comply with regulatory requirements. Mm. Overseeing and maintaining equipment such as access, uh, control system, cl closed circuit TVs, door alarms, panic alarms. So this is Mr. Price, so you know, why have I not been able to get a uh, meeting with him? Okay, D, col collaboration between Director of Security and the SF, SD commanding officer. So it basically says that, you know, the DPH will uh, interface with the Sheriff's Department, but, you know, the Paymaster's DPH, of course, rule. And they're to identify and troubleshoot emergent safety conditions, comply with hospital regulatory standards and requirements, but who tells the Sheriff what the regulatory standards and requirements are and interprets them? live, learn, and despair. Clearly define uh, accountabilities and responsibilities. Well, you know, I'm the director for, of security for GPH, and, you know, we're following the regulations, and, and, and you're here to do what I say, and you're the sheriff, so I say it's good, so uh, do it. Yeah, that's clearly defined accountability and responsibilities. Uh, yeah, how high do you want me to jump? Uh, strategic and joint addressing of long-term and underlying safety conditions and solutions. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do what we say or we'll just get somebody else. Customer service and professionalism of personnel providing safety and security services. Security services, where's the law enforcement? Safety? That's my stomach, folks. I'm dying. Create a culture 
of safety and security. Uh, commitments and responsibilities of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. I have a question mark by General Duty shall, shall be responsible for the security of DPH premises and creating a culture of safety. Well, I don't believe that's been shown on the videos, but that's for you guys to decide. Next one. Um, shall inform DPH Director of Security of any unusual incidents involving the San Francisco Sheriff Department staff, including but not limited to allegations of use of excessive force or dereliction of duty to the extent permissible by law. Dereliction of duty, would that be like, you know, what the officers did when the AOD on 411, uh, you know, invaded my privacy on my camera, deleted my videos, uh, on and on and on? Would that be like, you know, dereliction of duty by them not arresting the perpetrators that day that committed the crimes? Interesting question. Let's move on. Complaints involving San Francisco Sheriff's Department employees. Number two, complaints received by DPH regarding San Francisco employees. Okay, it basically says, you know, it's, it's their boilerplate for what they're going to do and everything else. And then it goes on to say, you know, it's going to continue to do that. However, the, 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 what you have to learn is the word games. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So we learn what each other has to say. We've, we've catched it in our own phrasing, which doesn't tell the entire story or the complete narrative. We've, we've, we've altered the facts so that it looks like, you know, we've done the best we can. Then we move on to risk management here. Risk management. You're going to love this one, folks. In the event that the purpose of any such meetings is to consider an issue involving possible misconduct of a sheriff's employee or the sheriff's supervisor or internal affairs investigators or the request of DPH and the consent of the sheriff may, be, may participate in such a meeting. Number three. Uh, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department shall not disclose facts, circumstances, or conclusions beyond particulars of the complaint investigated, nor shall such supervisor or investigator disclose any facts, circumstances, or conclusions deemed confidential by statute or by the policies. Now, I've shown you that policies aren't law, and they, they, they can circumvent the law with bad policy. And... Procedures of San Francisco Sheriff's Department, except as expressly authorized by the sheriff. Well, if the sheriff doesn't see you to fix the problem, yeah, I guess it must be authorized. Now, here's, here it is. Okay, let me say it again. Here it is. Here is the disclaimer. Number four. Parties, the parties, Recognize that all risk management meetings are medical staff committee meetings. Let me repeat that. The parties recognize that all risk management meetings are medical staff committee meetings. Ask yourself why. Can we hide this? Can we say that it's, you know, medical information and not have to provide it? Ooh. Within the meaning of section 7 above and the confidentiality provisions of said section apply to such meetings. So there we go. Confidentiality. Oh, yes. Isn't it wonderful? It's here. Here's the MOU. Let's go in. Let's face them with the truth and see what we can get as a response. Live, learn, despair. Live, learn, despair. Live, learn, despair.